Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect uh, Java to MySQL database uh, on XAMPP server. So, uh, I have installed the XAMPP uh, uh, package on my local host. So, first of all, we will create a database, a dummy database for our tutorial. So, uh, let's visit localhost. Click on PHP My Admin. And click New. So we will write database name. So test db create. So you can see test db has been created. Now come to uh, NetBeans IDE. Click on new project. Java has been selected. Java application uh, is selected and click next name your project i name it as uh, db tutorial already exist db demo okay click finish and our project has been created so source package click on java class j connection you can name it anything you want ok click finish and our class has been created so in this class we will be uh, write a method for our connection to that database so uh, first of all you write public static Connection chronic car DB. Okay, this uh, error will be gone in a while in a short while. Uh, please uh, wait a little, and you can see ahead that this error will um, uh, get out, get out of our uh, of our class. So uh, try H block is needed. You will be familiar with this function. This uh, try catch block exception E and J option pen dot show message dialog null. It's fine, okay. In here, write class dot for name and uh, inside this, um, inside this, you have to write com dot mysql dot jtbc dot driver line is finished now and uh, connection on is equal to driver oh driver connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection and uh, here is our database uh, credentials so right here jdbc my sql power slashes localhost forward slash and uh, here you have to write a name of the uh, database so what was our database name it was test db test db comma now username which is by default root and password which is by default empty so this line has been finished now okay add import okay what is this error missing return statement alt enter show missing return statement so we will uh, enter a return statement and this error will be gone 
okay um, add this line just before uh, return statement system dot out dot print ln and I'm I will tell you what this line means here connected okay so when this line uh, when this statement is executed successfully so this statement will after that uh, successfully uh, connecting uh, database statement uh, will say will say us that connected so we will know come to know that our database has been connected successfully and uh, return con so return con okay why is this error not going here? why return statement missing return statement okay return null okay our error has been gone so uh, where we have to test it so how we will run our program there is no main class so for that purpose click on here new jframe let's name it new jframe click finish get into the source code so here we have to connection con equal to null okay after this line just write a class name j connection oh no. since here uh, connection is equal to null it has been initialized to a null value so we will initialize we will uh, assign it a value con is equal to uh, j connection dot and that method in which our connection is uh, uh, existed existed okay um, <laughs> sorry for my uh, weak english language but i'm trying my best to convey you my uh, messages and my uh, little bit of knowledge so uh, let's run this program oh no okay not find symbol click add import so you have imported connection here and let's run it new jframe okay oh no java class not found as in commas okay uh, why this error is coming because we have not uh, added li required library for uh, java uh, for java mysql connection so what is that library i have uh, downloaded that library in zip form and i will provide you the link in the description below and uh, you can see the description in here uh, description link uh, sorry the link in here I will provide you this link in description below. Okay. Now let me add this library. Extract here. Okay. So we have extracted it and we will be using this file, this jar file in uh, our project. come to libraries in your project add jar folder so I have my documents where is that it is on desktop new folder mysql and click required library and click open and it has been added to the uh, libraries folder successfully now let's run the program the project click run no suitable driver for a generalized db okay let me find the error 
so it's telling us java.sql sql exception no suitable driver found for jdbc mysql uh, localhost stb okay click ok so you can see our connection is not connected right now we have no uh, message printed here so come to this line jdbc mysql uh, right full column here and uh, let's run it bam our connection has been connected uh, right now so what was the error we have uh, we forgot it we forgot uh, to write the mysql um, uh, uh, full column after mysql so uh, that's how we, ca uh, we can connect our uh, java application to mysql using xamp server so that's for this tutorial and hope you have learned something new today and uh, if you guys if you like my video uh, please uh, if you like my uh, style of teaching please like my video and um, leave your comment for the purpose uh, that i come to know or um, that i'm doing good or uh, bad uh, so that I can improve my style of teaching. So, thank you for now.